Nature versus Nurture show and uh, basically what I'm trying to capture here is not the wrath of Mother Nature but basically um, if we don't nurture our possessions that we hold so dearly, homes, bicycles, everything that we think are so important to us, if we don't nurture those things, Mother Nature just has an amazing way of, of reclaiming her territory that, that is rightfully hers and uh, I find that very intriguing and, and interesting so I'm trying to capture that here with these photographs and uh, so that's basically the, the Nature versus Nurture series. This is Rested Pony and uh, basically this is taking here in Texas um, going down a road there was a bunch of cars just sitting out there and and I thought it was awesome that nature decided to to go through the, the engine of this Mustang and so the name of it is Rusted Pony and this one down here was taken on uh, the border of Arizona and Texas and this one's called Mother Nature Takes Over and I thought that was just a, a beautiful just so much green amongst the, the wheat and everything and I thought it was just an amazing home and on the back side of it, the trees had grown through the, the house so much that I couldn't actually photograph from the opposite side, but um, I still found it quite beautiful. This is Bernie Falls in California, and it's just like this beautiful guado, if you will, and you hike down and it just kind of spirals down into a hiking area, and as you keep hiking, it gets cooler and cooler and cooler in temperature and, and, and more humid, which is so dry in, in California. So you, the temperature change is amazing and you get down here and there's uh, just a huge kind of 180 waterfall and it wraps all the way around into this beautiful blue lagoon if you will and it was just so amazing and this is a 40 by 60 picture of it and uh, and then these guys were in Texas and those are old wheels that this campground turned into fire pits. And I guess they kind of didn't need all the fire pits that they got. So they threw them out there and Mother Nature said, okay, I'll take that too. <laughs> and then we have, uh, this is in Texas, all washed up is the name of this one. And uh, it was a, just an amazing home that was just dilapidated and kind of scary to go sneaking around in. But that's one of my favorite things. That's part of the excitement of it all is the roof is going to fall down on me while I'm in there taking pictures. But... Um, I thought that it was so cool to see the, the tile, the, the mortar and the cement that had just cracked off and the old paint crackled and it had fallen to the sink and the sink was pretty much the only thing that was the, the sturdiest thing in the house and I thought that was really cool. So I took that picture uh, in Texas as well. And this is the door series. Uh, there's about 85 to 95 doors that I have on my website actually but this is a uh, nine of them and on a few of these you'll notice the my attempt at bringing 2d art back into a 3d state and so on a few of these I mounted the photograph and then expanded the photograph with the paint and uh, acrylic paint and so that was my attempt to bring that to a 3d state and these doors were I traveled in a, an RV for three years extensively to build my photography portfolio up. So these doors are taking all over the states and um, it was really fun. So I had a lot of fun with this series and, and uh, this is what melted into the, the Nature versus Nurture show. This has been a, a great opportunity and I just wanted to thank Sarah at the Scarborough Building and, and the Scarborough Building allowing me to, to show my work here. It's really awesome. And I wanted to thank Kathy Heron with Real Gallery for helping me put this together as well. And Ron and Judith and Tara at Fast Signs for, for helping me and donating um, some print work for me. And they did a wonderful job on, on a lot of my photographs. and. Um, and John Gannon of 3M, he actually gifted the canvas to me, which was great for the show. So I really love how people are so passionate about helping artists, local artists, and supporting the arts. And, and that just that excites me more than anything. It's just seeing um, people's passion for art and, and doing what they can to support the arts. So I just wanted to thank those people. It's awesome.